Hello friends, this is March 12th, 2016. This is David Bose, and it's good to see everybody today. Well friends, today I have a very important message. I believe, and I've said this before, but I really do believe this video will be the most important video that I will do. Although I've put out, I believe, some very important information in the past. Not to belittle any of that information, but this information, if acted upon by all of you, could possibly save our nation from going into a tailspin. As all of you know, and I pray that all of you will listen very carefully to what I have to say, and give me the benefit of the doubt. Just give me a few minutes. I'm going to try to talk very quickly and get right to the point. Forgive me if I don't achieve that as I should, but I'm going to try. I know that it's very important that I get this information over to you quickly. We've got a, a crisis on our hands. Okay, That doesn't mean, as most of you know, I believe that our Father in Heaven has the reins and, he, and He's going to be taking care of us and it's going to be okay over the long haul. He's going to He's going to help us. But I also, as I've said in many of my videos, point out that all of us as human beings must do the best we can to take care of ourselves and to do things that are wise and to help one another. So our Father in Heaven has given us a brain. And, you know, Jesus said, I do nothing but what I see my Father doing. And he told us to go forth and preach the gospel. Preach the good news and, and to tell people and to help people. To clothe the naked. To feed the hungry. To do good unto others. And to forgive everyone. And this is what the kingdom of our Father in Heaven is. Now, I don't want to preamble about this. I want to get right into this. We've got a crisis on our hands. Okay. Now, I've been doing some videos about Ted Cruz. And I've told you that he's, um, he's not a good guy. Okay, I understand that he looks like it at times. That it looks like he's for us, but he's not. His wife is a part of the elite, and he is too. They are puppets for the elite. They're on the council of the of the, you know, the CFR, the Council of Foreign Relations. His wife was vice president of Goldman and Sachs. Enough said. Hillary Clinton. If any of you don't know this to be true, I, I ask you to look it up. This should settle the information. She is a liar. I don't care about these emails, although this is very important. It's very serious what she's done with these emails and all this, you know, scandals and these corruptions and whitewater. But most of us don't know really what whitewater was all about. And, and it's easy to say, well, that was her husband. But you see, her and her husband have had a crime syndicate going on. They're like the Mafia. I've done some videos about this. There has been many murders. And there's a lot of corruption. And this has become standard procedure for most of these people that are running for office. Clinton and Ted Cruz, as far as the first two that we're going to mention, cannot be our president if we're going to survive and get through this without having World War III and, and, and you know, so that we can have prosperity and freedom will continue uninterrupted. Otherwise, there's going to be some martial law and World War III and a crash. We cannot have Clinton in there. She is also on the board of the CFR and goodness knows whatever whatever else she is. I know she's talked at the, at the Council on Foreign Relations. She's run by them. She's admitted it publicly. And she was on the board of Walmart. She's just another elite puppet. Okay. Rubio, he doesn't even have a chance to become president anyway, and he's also a puppet of the elite. Kasich's been in government, worked for the elite for years. Come on, enough said. Who can we trust? Well, the beginning of this and all, you know, for the last several years I've been talking about Rand Paul. Now, a lot of you are wondering, well, what's the difference, Dave? He's no better than any of the rest. He's just a part of the whole you know, system. Okay, here's the difference. And I've told you this before, but this is very important that you listen to this, okay? Please listen to this. Rand Paul, he's not running for president, but I still want you to see this. I want you to hear this because I'm going to talk about someone else here in just a moment. Rand Paul is for 
auditing the Fed. Back in January, he put a bill in the Senate to audit the Fed, and the Democrats killed that bill. There was only, I think, one or two or three people that went across the aisle and supported that bill that Rand Paul put forward. And, one, and that person was Bernie Sanders, and I think there was another one. But Bernie Sanders is not your just run-of-the-mill run of Democrat. In fact, he's not even a Democrat, and as you most probably know, he's a socialist. I want to say something right off the bat. This is going to be difficult to do this video, and I know a lot of you are going to disagree with it, but I want you to listen to the end. I'm trying to spit this out as quickly as I can and as concise as I can, because this is very important to our, our future as a, as a country. Okay. Let's get rid of the labels. I don't believe in democ democratic parties. They've robbed us blind. They're liars. They're thieves. They're, just forget a party. Republicans, forget it. They're liars. They've had control of the House and the Senate for months now, and they've done nothing. They're all puppets. They're all working for lobbyists. I've done video after video, friends. Lobbyists go in there and pay and buy these senators. And when they get done as senators and congressmen, they go work for the lobbyists. They make buku monies. Is there any human being out there that we could vote for that would change this world? And how is he going to do it? The answer is the Fed. See, the elite corporate bankers. Now, I don't care... I know a lot of you are afraid of that word socialist. Look, the Constitution of the United States is all I care about. That was given to us by divine manifest destiny. Liberty and justice and freedom for all. Now, there's nothing in the Constitution that says we're capitalists. That doesn't mean I'm a socialist. I'm an anarchist. I don't believe in government. The less government, the better. And I know Republicans are always spouting that, but they don't really believe that. They want $3 trillion military that's sucking us dry. And they're out murdering people right and left. And it's wrong. And if you don't understand that, you need to stop for a moment and just think about the fact that the CIA goes in and creates things like ISIS and Al-Qaeda, creates a phony war, a phony enemy, and then spends billions and billions of dollars robbing and pillaging us here in America to go fight these phony wars. And lots of people die. This is all being lobbied by you know other entities outside of the United States corporate interests and and people like Israel and the Zionists and and communists and people that are coming into our country and lobbying us for their own particular needs they're not representing us Rand Paul I don't care what you think of him well he's not his father well listen his father is the one who pushed this thing about the Fed the Fed needs to be audited. Um, they took trillions out of our pockets. Trillions. They're not monitored by Congress. There's no congressional oversight. The Feds, it's like another branch of government, which is like the most powerful branch, because they're the ones that, that are buying and purchasing our congressmen and our senators and our president, just puppets for these Feds, these elite bankers like Bernanke, and on and on and on, these these rock childs and people like Trump that are now, you know, that we're all running around thinking we're going to vote him in as president. They're the rich elite. Come on, wake up, friends. What are we going to do? Well, it was Rand Paul, the son of Ron Paul, who is still fighting this fight against these elite. And he put this bill up in, back in January. And the only Democrat that came over there and supported it was Bernie Sanders. Now, what about Bernie Sanders? Oh, he's a, he's a socialist. I don't care. I don't care. You see, that socialist just means fairness. If you're going to have government, fairness is good, right? We need a, a living wage, right? That's fine. And, and other people say, oh, well, I don't agree with that because then they'll just raise the prices of everything. Listen, I don't even care. The only thing that matters to me is that we continue with our Constitution and that people like the Fed, who are running our government, be audited and controlled by us, the people. We need to get rid of lobbyists. We need to get rid of the Fed. This is it. If we don't do that, nothing else matters, friends. 
And Bernie Sanders is has got a grassroots movement. It's the same people backing him as they're backing Rand Paul, especially Ron Paul, his father. These young people are actually backing the right person, and we need to get on board. We need to do this now, immediately. If we don't, look, we've got a small window of time right now. Rand Paul's already gone. Unless he takes up the third party, independent party, or something like that, we can't vote for Rand Paul. It's done. It's over. But by divine grace, we've got one other chance. As all of you know, we can't vote for Clinton. We can't vote for Trump. He's a billionaire, and his interests are what? To build up his the financial institutions of the United States that's just going to make the rich richer. Okay? They're going to rape and pillage the earth more. I don't care about all these little things. Oh, sure, maybe he's going to try some free trade and get business to come back to America and it'll all trickle down here into those poor people. Now, what we need is to know what these elite people are doing running our government behind our backs. They're the ones that caused the 2008 crash. They're the ones that's just robbing and pillaging us and taking trillions out of our economy, just riding this horse down into the grave because they don't care anymore. It's over. They have no intentions of, of saving this country. Their only intention, just like the Bolshevik Revolution, was to run it into the ground and take it over. They financed that revolution in Russia, and then they bankrupt them and took it over, okay? They're financing this war against us, the people. And we're just taking it hook, line, and sinker. And we never know. All along, in every country, they had these federal banks and these they've, their, their special interests and all this elite garbage going on. And this has got to stop. If we don't stop this now, we've got no hope except for a total crash and a reset with the system. And only by divine intervention will we be saved. And we will be saved. Our Father in Heaven will save us. He will... He will take care of us. He will watch over us. But he's, he's, he's looking for people to do this now. To act now. Before it's too late. Before the rocks have to cry out. We should be crying out. If you're not even willing to save your own lives, spend just a few minutes writing some letters and, and go down to the voting booth and vote for the right person. You've got to do some investigation. Please don't vote for Donald Trump. Friends, Please don't vote for Hillary Clinton, or Rubio, or Kasich, or Jeb Bush, or any of these elite puppets. Friends, let's wake up. Quit saying, oh, Rand Paul's not his father. Rand Paul's not his father. I didn't say that. Rand Paul's against the Fed and the lobbyists, and without getting that out of the way, we've got no hope. Rand Paul's not running. Bernie Sanders is, and I don't care if he's a socialist. Bernie Sanders is trying to tell us that these elite are ruling over us. They rule over us through this kind of unregulated capitalism where somehow we're told that, well, you know, there's nothing we can do. The elite pay off these senators and congressmen and we got to have lobbyists and we can't stop it. We can't regulate wealth. That's free capitalist system, right? If they put billions in there to, to run some candidate and an ordinary human being like Rand Paul who loves us and cares for us and wants to help us, he can't, he's got no backing because they run the media. So it's going to have to be up to us. Media is not going to tell you this. I'm telling you, but this isn't going to get out anywhere unless all of you, we stand together. Look, I don't care if, this has nothing to do with making my video viral. I'm doing this out of concern for our country. If you guys don't make this video viral, then we're not going to have a country and I probably won't even be able to make videos from now on. So it's very important that we get this out there. And I'm asking all of you, all of my subscribers, I'm asking, I'm begging you, if you understand what I'm saying, if you get my point, after you've investigated what I've said, please send this video to everybody in your contacts, everyone. And then those who get this video, if you've watched it and you agree with it, and most of you should, do a little investigation, I'm begging you, send this video. Take the time to search your heart and say, look, this might not be the best made video, there's no flashy, you know, colors and, you know, special effects or, or 
you know, I'm not being funny, it's not entertaining, but this is important that everybody hears this video. Basically, we just need to let people know that Bernie Sanders voted with Rand Paul to audit the Fed, and all of his Democratic buddies killed that bill. If we don't audit the Fed on a yearly basis to know what they're doing, we're done. They have robbed us with trillions of money going out of our system. Now, I, I can't explain this all to you in this video. Look it up on Google and you'll see what the Fed has done. They were not audited. We don't, they don't know where the money went. Trillions of dollars. Nobody knows where it went. And nobody's held accountable. And this is what's destroying America. That and the fact that lobbyists are going in, hired by the elite, corporate bankers, and the people who run and own all the corporations in the world, and they have bought and paid for your senators, your congressmen, and the system that we're under right now is being run by these elite, and we've got to do something about it. If not, then we're done. So get this out of your head that this Bernie Sanders is socialist, so you can't vote for him. If you don't vote for him, you've got a week, two week window here. If we don't get out there in mass and make sure that he wins the Democratic nomination, then God help this country, friends. So I'm going to put this video out just the way it came out. I don't know. I hope it was, you know, acceptable for you, all of you. And I hope it, it explained the situation. I'm only a human. I'm trying to do the best I can. I want to tell you this for information. I'm hoping that this video will get out there. Please send it to all you know. Please, I'm begging you. If you've ever taken a video and send it to all your friends, please send this one to your friends. Please. Because hopefully after somebody watches this video, they'll do some research and see what I'm saying. That this, this auditing bill that was presented to the Senate has got to go forward. And the only person that's going to be able to do something like that is a Rand Paul or a Bernie Sanders. They're the only ones who stood up. So now we got to stand up for them. This here's David Vos, friends. I hope you all have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.